Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. This is my first day in Italy of my Italy trip and I'm right now in Rome. So we're streaming right out of Italy, Rome. It is an amazing city, really nice. The only problem is that currently also here the virus had a deep impact and uh, the city is quite empty. So if you want to enjoy Rome, see the Vatican, see all the nice places that Rome is offering to you, currently is the good time to come here because it's really, really empty and uh, it's really weird to see a city like this that empty. So the virus here had a big impact. I'm gonna stay here probably for another couple of days to see everything and then continue my trip. So of course, if you want to follow my trip, then also tune in here every day and subscribe here over on YouTube and then also on Twitch, of course, if you have Twitch. So in today's video, we're gonna do uh, the usual Bitcoin TA. And later on, we're also gonna have a look on a chain link because a chain link currently is having a really great uh, pump here so we are seeing really chain link pumping like crazy let me also quickly open up the chart here because bitcoin is still uh, hanging around this 9300 dollar we had also a little bit of play time this weekend another little uh, pump and dump scenario and then immediately retraced back to where we started so also here we didn't see much happening on the weekend but here on a chain link we had a really big push to the upside we came over eight dollars currently we are retracing again back down below eight dollars but look at the amazing pump that the chain link had since it broke here this five dollar resistance now the question of course is uh, uh, is Chainlink the, the possible leading indicator? What will happen next? Or do we just see here a potential a little altcoin rally in some altcoins, which usually happens always at the end of a rally of a Bitcoin and then the big crash? This is now the big question. Is it time to FOMO in into altcoins or not? Uh, so we're going to have uh, to look at this uh, later on first let's do here the bitcoin uh, ta quickly in the one hour time frame you can see that all the moving averages are coming together here we're squeezing within this little wedge here and even if we would break out here to the upside watch out here for this nine thousand four hundred dollar level because it could be a uh, very huge uh, resistance here so as long as we are not able to build up a support again above nine thousand four hundred to nine thousand five hundred it looks like that bitcoin is still trading sideways here or maybe even uh, seeing uh, some little uh, dumps here towards the support of around nine thousand dollar RSI is bouncing from the 50 level, which is good. Stochastic is also coming down in neutral condition. If we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can also see here that after overshooting it to the upside, currently we're retracing back into the middle and we're bouncing from it. So this is bullish. Um, the problem is also that here uh, on the MACD, we could have a bearish cross. So we must bounce from it and start to push here again towards $9,300 and higher and also avoid here this bearish cross on the MACD. Otherwise, there could be some more pushes to the downside towards $9,200, even down towards uh, $9,100. And now let's open up the four hour time frame because here as you can see also we have the moving averages coming up together we have the 200 as a resistance and the 20 and 50 as a support so let's see once they're going to cross if we're potentially going to see here a possible breakout to the upside and also break this nine thousand four hundred dollar because as i told you if chain link or some other altcoins which uh pumped here in the last couple of uh, days especially here cardano uh, v chain chain link if bitcoin is going to follow it then we will see most likely huge fireworks here to the upside but currently bitcoin is still hanging around here and usually when we see this happens this always signals that a big move is coming most likely to the downside and this will also take all the altcoins down but of course it could be also different now because we uh, are now after the halving and usually after the halving we see always a continuation of a sustainable nice long-term bull rally which will take a couple of months even years till it's gonna top out somewhere and uh, here also in the four hour you can see that the rsi is above the 50 which is good stochastic in neutral condition and if we open up the bollinger band here in the four hour 
here also we can see that we're squeezing within this tiny channel here and we're still trading in the upper area so still bullish macd had a bullish cross here let's hope that we can push and break it is nine thousand three hundred dollar pretty soon and don't forget that you can trade it over on bybit or bityard for example if you want to trade it with a leverage so with smaller amounts you can go here up to 100x leverage and uh, you can do a lot of gains if the price is pushing here to the upside and if you go long but if you think it's going down then just open up a short position here on bybit or bityard if you want to use your tether to trade bitcoin for example or chainlink because on bityard you can also trade chainlink I recommend you Bityard for Tether and if you want to trade uh, uh, on Femex, on Femex they also have a link so if you want to trade link you can use uh, Femex or Bityard as an exchange. So I recommend you these exchanges if you want to trade with the leverage especially Bitcoin but also some other uh, altcoins. And now let's go over to the daily time frame because here once more we are squeezing here between the 20 daily and 50 daily moving average so far we are trading above the 20 daily which is good this could signal a potential test here of 9400 where the 50 daily moving average is lining up also the RSI is right at the 50 stochastic is in neutral condition so here what we're gonna have to see is in case of a push to the upside if we are able to break uh, this $9,400 resistance and also place a daily candle above the 50 daily moving average which is perfectly lining up with our resistance in case of a breakdown to the downside watch out first here for the first support at around 9k and if this is lost the 200 daily moving average which is also within this falling wedge currently down here at around eight thousand five hundred dollar this could be a potential bounce area so in case that you want to scale in longs watch out for this target here and we can also open up the daily time frame because here we are also still trading in the upper area so in theory we could go easily towards nine thousand four hundred dollar and test this resistance here macd is also shifted to the upside so also here in the daily everything is still looking like we will potentially go and test this 9400 pretty soon especially after we have seen these uh, few altcoins pumping like crazy and even now they don't retrace much back down so they're still quite stable so this is a bullish sign actually and that's why i'm still bullish on bitcoin even though i think a potential little correction towards the 200 daily is still in the cards and now let's quickly also have a look on the s p 500 mini futures because also they are still pumping we didn't create like a higher highs uh, currently but i think also here it's just a matter of time till we're gonna break here this 3230 dollar and maybe we're gonna see a similar performance like on chainlink for example because chainlink also fighted the resistance up here and it broke out and had a very nice performance to the upside and also here on the S&P 500 you can see that we're still trading above the 20 daily moving average which is very bullish and now let's go over to Chainlink because this coin is really amazing and I'm really still starting to think about to uh, scale in a big position here once and if we're gonna drop towards the 20 or even down towards the 200 daily moving average because this coin so far had a great performance and this without being in a major bull rally or anything like that in bitcoin or even in the traditional uh, stock market so chainlink currently is outperforming everything and the thing is that we could be in a potential blow off top here we we topped out currently at eight dollars and 40 and i still think there is a very high chance that we retrace at least towards the 20 daily potentially also to retest this five dollar area and even though we could fall towards the 200 daily moving average at three dollars fifty uh, if also bitcoin and the traditional markets are going to start to pump again and in chain link we will most likely see also a very strong recovery if we are dropping that low so definitely keep an eye on this coin if you're planning to buy some and of course if you think that from here we're gonna crash down towards the 20 daily and retest the five dollar area then re remember you can trade it over on a bityard or femex for example because there you can trade a link with tether so you don't even have to own this coin and you can go long or short with it and since we are now here on the bityard uh, chart 
remember that later on i gonna do the subscription video for our 10 dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway so make sure on later on's video where it says subscription video for the bityard giveaway to tune in leave there a comment and your bitcoin address to be part of this week's 10 dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway where we're gonna select the winner at the end of the week so don't miss out that make sure to subscribe here to the channel because uh, once the video is online you will see the notification subscription video and there you can participate i will do this video later on and if you want to see the live stream of it then make sure to join my uh, live stream channel here over on twitch and you're also very welcome to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is uh, welcome you find all the links down below here in the video description and if you need a bybit femex or bityard account where you can trade chain link bitcoin ethereum and so on up to 100x leverage then you find all the sign up links down below here with my links you can get some sign up bonus currently on bybit 90 dollars on femex 72 dollars and on bityard based on your trading volume up to 260 dollars on bonus so definitely go and check it out if you're interested in uh, trading so thank you very much my friends for watching leave a like if you like the content subscribe to the channel and this was the first day here in uh, rome tomorrow i'm still uh, here so from now on the next couple of weeks we will stream directly out from italy so thank you very much my friends and we see us all in the next one bye